Hi, I'm Carl from Prototype and today I'm going to be showing you how we programmed a Google Home to be able to answer different questions that aren't programmed into it. So if we just go over to here, I'm using a website called Dialogflow. It's um, free and it allows you to, well, program Google Home. Um, so if we go over to this agent here and create a new one, this is a brand new AI agent, whatever. Um, we're going to call it Art Awards. Art Awards, right. Um, create. Right here. Oh. oh, you need to get rid of the spaces. Right. Yeah, you've got to get rid of the spaces. Art Award. Brilliant. Right, it's working. Right, create the first intent. So, add training phrase. So, this intent is going to be called What? <laughs> what? What we did at. Um, what we did is protocol. You can say something slightly different and it like um the Google. If I said Right, so we've got two training phrases. What we did a proto what did we do a prototype? And this is what we did a prototype. Um, we're gonna save these and now um, we can go and add a response. So this is what um, the Google Home will respond to well a question. So um, we're gonna enter a response. We learned how to program, program a Google Home to say different things. Right, let me just... save that then we can go and try it so this is um, a demonstration of what the Google would say back so this is say the same thing. So we've now learned how um, we can program a Google Home and say different things to it but it will give us the same response. But an extra little thing that we did learn was um, we can add like a varying thing that it will say. So if we add another thing um, instead of it telling us that we learned how to program a Google Home, we could say um, we pre created created and look look at AI box. So 
now we've got um, two different responses. So if we go and enter um, this, all oh, right, we can't copy it. Um, if we just save that, right now it's saved. We can go and enter that. What did we do? What did we do? Prototype. Tell us Google. All right. So because it is varying, um, sometimes it will give you the same thing, and sometimes it will say something different. So if we just go and type that again, um, what can we copy this to go measure? So we don't have to type it out again. There we go. Right, we just enter that. It literally will tell us a different look. Now it has told us something different. Um, the second thing that we entered down there, we created and looked at AI master prototype. So um, yeah, that is a basic conclusion on how to well program a Google to say different things. Um, thanks for watching.